What you're doing lads, presented a new review for our channel. So today we're gonna have the frog gun. Frog gun belongs to the class of 3D performance where you explore a single bite size level with jumps, moving platforms, enemies, coins and lots of more. And then you move to the next and do it all again. What it owes in such level is to play through some of which feature boss fights or races and full competition attached to the things like finishing under a certain time or without dying. Frog Gun offers much more than it might lightly seem. The story resolves aboard a budding young explorer named Renata, who set off after her parents who failed to return from an expedition. Along the way she encounters a man named Jake, who insists that Renata is after some great treasure, a fellow who sells a manor cosmetic head for coins and bosses like a giant spider. One of collectibles in every stage is a set of notes that shed some light to research with around parents too, but the real draw of Frog Gun is the title too and all the things to show up for throughout the game. The levels are generally grouped by team, such as Winter Lava and the Cavern. These worlds consist of about a half of dozen stages, including a race and a boss fight to close out of the world. If you gather enough in a game collectibles, like Green Eye Meridals or finish enough stages under the recommended time limit, you can spend these achievements to increase your health matter by a single point. Given the difficulty curve is a plenty steady, it's definitely worth bolstering your hit points as you go. A given stage will feature a plenty of object to collect, with each try to a specific completion metric for a stage stage. Picking up all coins, notes and emeralds uh, takes some real skill, especially when dying results to back to the beginning of the stage the most of your recent checkpoints. And don't expect to find many of these. If aiming to fully complete at the level 100%, it's almost certainly going to take multiple attempts. You'll need to figure out of the fastest road navigate to the end without taking a death and also discover any hidden coins and the secret areas I actually enjoyed from Gan the most when I was trying to complete every level as fast as possible. Many stages can be complete in under a few minutes, snagging every last coin take quite a bit skill and patience even through no stage is all that large. Aside from the linear path through each world, how you play through the game is largely up to you. In in addition to the frog can actually talking during the cutscenes and offering tips during the gameplay, it also functions like a grappling hook. When Renata needs to cross a gap, she can jump across. You can press a single button to shoot out the frog gun lock red tongue. Upon striking a wall or a trampoline, you must be instantly pulled out on the direction. You can also use the frog gun to pick up jars and small enemies to launch a larger one or essential obstacles. While standing still, it's possible to hold down a button and aim the gun reticle as so make a more precise shot. Even through the controls are solid most of the time, there is still some janks and stickities that can lead to some unfortunate deaths. There is issues are compounded in the some levels by noticeable slowdown, especially when more enemies and obstacles are on screen. Fortunately, the camera controls are fairly reliable and the simplicity of the visuals does not admire the job of recalling the past while also making it easy to everything for Renata can pick up and everywhere she can explore. So, as I said before, the Switch certainly doesn't have an overbalance of the 3D platform games, let alone those that consist of the multiple small levels opposed to the larger more open spaces like Super Mario 64 and Banjo Kazooie, ultimately Renata and her frog shaped gun make you for goofy for a capable player. And I need up being surprised by how much I like the adventure and how it kept me pushing to finishing just one more stage. You can unlock a two-player duel mode, but there is more than enough reason to return to every level so low to perfect your performance. So about the pros, a lot of the competitions, simple and challenging gameplay, variety of collectible and achievements. About the cons, well, uh, slow down at some points and uh, the graphics, I'll say, I should say the graphics. Anyways, thank you for watching me for today. Don't you guys forget to the comment and subscribe, please. Leave all the comments, it's all appreciated. Everything we are going to discuss on our Telegram and uh, also the Discord channel. So, yeah, 